Bonjour, bonjour, ça va? Ça va? Oui, tout, tout va bien. And um, I want to talk to you people about um, barbers. I want to talk to you people about barbers and arrogance. And I want to talk to you about uh, bright lights and sensitivity. No, I don't want to talk to you about that. Emotional flashbacks. And uh, something, don't worry, Richard Grant hasn't had a stroke, and nor have I. Uh, this is the uh, think of me as Mycroft and him as Holmes, if you like. The or perhaps uh, the street urchin. But that's ah, shit, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, I'll leave that and I won't edit. The I think I want to talk about, I had a violent experience recently, in spite of all the good work I've done looking into these subjects, and it's one of the most violent experiences I've had in my entire adult life. And it was in the in a Scouse area, uh, near where I'm currently living, and it happened when I was trying to do a very mundane thing, and a very, uh, she punched in the jaw, which is supposedly as if they're playing with me, perhaps, but it's still not on. And uh, because I was rude to a beard, speaking wrongly to a beard, uh, one of the few times where I've lost my rag, I've been slightly aggressive when my buttons have been pushed. I'm usually a lot more silent. Wait for choo choo. Usually a lot more silent and get upset that way when people look at me. Or when people uh, give me a strange time, they mutter things under their breath or whatever. Expect you to do things, uh, critical criticisms, etc. Pressure you don't need. Hypocritical projecting statements like, you're nervous. <laughs> like a restaurateur used to say to me. And uh, some 18, 19 years ago, uh, I was at the tender age of 17 and this happened, it almost looked like it was set up to happen, I should probably be giving this evidence to the police but that never really happened, whereby um, the people in this barbershop, I always already felt stressed and strained anyway but I didn't think that was going to happen and I don't like barbers, I have a jaundice view towards barbers, they're annoying, they're opinionated, they're arrogant, I'm not quite sure why. Uh, you remember that scene from Gran Torino with the shotgun? Well, that's almost like an overt gaslight where he tells the kid to be rude and he then points a gun at him, tells him to get the F, F out of his shop. Well, for some reason, the people, men who daintily snip away at other men's hair either have to have a very, have to be fine with themselves, very together, or they have to be very the opposite, don't they? It's a, it's a thick person's job or it's something you do to make ends meet if you're not thick. But usually it's the former. And uh, maybe they pick up on my opinions, but that's not the point, is it? It's still not on. It was if they pick up. What they're probably just doing is, what most malignant narcissists do of all classes, is they pick, pick a weak point in somebody. Could be a stranger, like in that case. And uh, they they figure out a way to get the better of you somehow. And I'm not entirely clear or crystal clear on these things, but they just been reading about borderline personality disorder a little bit. It's like they are narcissists and they want you to feel like them, don't they? Well, they, they can make you feel so aggressive. They're, they're aggressive people around here, more than, more than culturally more than a lot of other areas of the country. They're, I mean, they're, they're more emotional as well. So a bit of an Irish thing, isn't it? And unfortunately that happened.